Hi, I'm James Hamilton from Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal, and this is where you'll find everything you need to know about workbenches. Every month or so, we like to put together a little book review for the subscribers of Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal. These reviews are not sponsored by the publisher, they don't pay us to promote them. They're just designed to help you build a great woodworking library. If you like the book as much as I do, please use the link below this video to check it out on Amazon. This time, we're looking at two books. Workbenches and the Workbench Design Book, both by Chris Schwartz. Why should you give a crap about these two books? Because inside you will learn stuff that you didn't even know that you didn't know. Seriously, even if you have a workbench you're really happy with, like I am mine, between these four covers you'll find ways to improve both your workspace and your work itself. That's because it isn't just a collection of workbench plans, though there are a lot of bench plans inside but they explain the how and the why of work holding for woodworkers. You see, there's a fundamental misunderstanding among many new woodworkers about what a workbench really is. It's not just a flat surface to pound on, that's an assembly table. A workbench is a work holding device. It's the largest woodworking jig in your shop. It's designed to not only hold your work, but to make your work easier. If you've ever seen a real craftsman working at a well-designed workbench, it's a thing of beauty. The bench becomes part of the woodworker, adding efficiency to every task and every movement. The Blue Book, simply called Workbenches, is a comprehensive lesson in how traditional workbenches are designed and why they are designed that way. You'll learn about dog holes and why they aren't always just bored willy-nilly, why vices are located where they are, how changing your vice design can transform the way you work. How the height of your bench can alleviate sore muscles at the end of the day and much more. You're bound to find ways to modify and improve your existing bench. And if you're planning on building a new one, you'll learn the principles needed to design one that suits the work that you do. Another treasure found in the workbench book is a series of tutorials about how to use your bench to make specific woodworking jobs easier. One at a time, Chris examines the most common woodworking tasks from dovetailing to surface planing, mortising and tenoning, you'll learn the best way to hold your work using the features your bench is equipped with. This is a great example of the knowledge found in these two books that goes way beyond the actual construction process. Remember, the bench is a work holding jig and this book is designed to teach you how to use it. Of course, these two books are also about building benches. The blue workbench book was revised in 2017 and it now contains four workbench plans including two versions of the English Nicholson bench, one of which is portable, and two versions of the French Roubault workbench, one built using construction lumber and power tools and the other from solid hardwood and hand tools. There are also several workbench accessories that you can build which are sure to improve the capabilities of any workbench. You can make one of the four benches inside if you like. But this book is really about learning the principles of bench design and use so you can make the bench that best suits you. But if you do prefer to work from plans, you'll find a bunch of them in the red workbench design book. This book contains and even expands on some of the lessons found in the blue book, but its primary focus is on nine specific bench designs that are favored by professionals. Some are designed for power tool woodworkers, some for hand tool woodworkers, some for hybrid woodworkers. Some are designed using traditional materials, others with modern materials like plywood and LVL beams. You'll find something suited to a tight budget, something for a shop with limited space, you name it, it's covered. But most importantly, each bench design is carefully examined in detail asking how and why it works, so you can choose the right one for your style of woodworking. Finally, the workbench design book contains a greatly expanded section on the principles of good bench design and on work holding, including many of the new innovations in the age-old quest for a better workbench. I think both books are an important part of my woodworking library, but if I could only buy one, it would definitely be the blue workbench book. That one contains valuable lessons for any woodworker, even if you already have a bench you like. The red workbench design book expands on some of those lessons, and even if you don't want to build one of the included plans, you're sure to learn a lot about why certain features may be worth adding to your own design. Again, please use the link in the notes below to check them out for yourself. As always, our book review videos are sponsored by Isotunes, the makers of high quality Bluetooth hearing protection. 
You can listen to music, podcasts, audiobooks, all while protecting your ears in the shop, when you're mowing lawn in the yard, or anywhere you're exposed to loud noises. Check them out at the link below the video. For more great tips, tricks, and tutorials designed to make you a better woodworker, check out Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal. You can read and subscribe for free at StumpyNubs.com.